coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Okay, so I am back with my second Are They Worth the Hype video. And I felt the need to do this video because when I did my Maybelline Baby Skin review, I saw the same question over and over and over, um, and it and it kind of raised a flag um, as to maybe I didn't give you guys the proper information, or maybe I wasn't clear enough. So this video, if you can't tell by the title already, is about poor erasers or poor blurers. I think I made up that word. So. There are so many primers, and if you're interested in knowing about primers, I'm going to put my Makeup 101 on primers in the description box so that you guys can watch it. It's a little boring because it's a lot of information, but it explains a little bit more in depth. So in the primer world, there are pore fillers. Pore fillers are usually silicone based and they fill your pores. Like it's like if you took Play-Doh and you jammed it in your pores and you plugged them up but they are of um, safe materials that you can put in your pores and they won't clog your pores, they will just make them vanish. These products are not pore fillers. They are not pore fillers. So this video is on products that blur your pores. So they have a technology that makes them look like they went away, but they're still there. So are pore blurs worth the hype? Yes, ma'am. So I have had such great luck with poor blurs or poor erasers, you guys, that I had to share. Um, you saw my excitement in my baby skin review video, and you guys know from my previous tutorials that I use Benefits Professional, you know, to the end of the day. Like, I love this product so much. When I just started on YouTube, I swore by the Too Faced Primed and Poreless same type of product. It's a blurring product. These are not pore fillers. So please, 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 let's, let's talk about the difference. Pore fillers are primers that are designed to plug your pores and to make your canvas smooth. So they're a physical product that you put in your pores to blur them out. Pore erasers have a specific technology that I won't get into because I don't understand it that once applied to your face, they give the illusion that your pores aren't there. They reflect light, so instead of showing or emphasizing your wrinkles, instead of or, emphasizing your wrinkles or filling your wrinkles, instead of emphasizing your pores or filling your pores, it applies a product that reflects light and makes it look like your pores are blurry or not so deep or dark or whatever. So these again are not products that will fill your pores, um, but again, these are also products that do not claim to control your oil. I got that question so much. Will this make me oil, like will this keep me non-shiny? Will this control my oil? Will this keep my makeup on long enough? Will, will it make my makeup last all day? The only thing these products claim to do is to blur your pores. So you want to take that into consideration. If you have really oily skin, I don't know if this will control your oil. I, I don't have issues with oily skin, so I can't say that from firsthand experience. What I will tell you though is when I wear the Benefit Professional, and when I wear the baby skin, at the end of the day, my makeup looks like 15 times better when I wear Maybelline's baby skin. Uh, I, it does not claim to prolong the wear of your makeup, but I don't have oily skin. So if you have normal to combination skin, this will probably make your makeup look better at the end of the day just because of the illusion it provides. It doesn't claim to make your makeup last longer. So that's another myth that I wanna kind of bust for you guys. Pore filler, or pore erasers, pore erasers do not fill your pores, they do not control oil, they do not prolong the wear of your makeup. They don't claim to do any of those things. The only thing they claim to do is to make your wrinkles and your pores look a little more blurry or less obvious, which for me is a big plus because you know that once you start to get towards like 
a certain age, you start to get those expression lines around your mouth, around your nose, this, you know, this area of your face. So if it's a product that's going to help me blur those areas, I am all for it. Now, I will tell you this. Um, before baby skin came to the US, um, another thing that I said in that video that I think this was available in Europe, no, it was available in Asia for years and years and years and years. Now it's coming to Europe and the US and all that craziness. So it was available in Asia for a really long time. Um, before this came to the US, I really liked the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur and I got mine in the classic type. This one, because um, they have an oil-free version that is clear, just like baby skin. But I am going to tell you this. Between these two drugstore versions, I prefer this one 10 times more. Not only is this, um, not only is this one not as greasy, but remember, I don't have oil, the oil-free one. Um, this one dries better. I just prefer this one way better than this one. This one comes with a $5 price tag. This one comes with a $20 price tag. Albeit, I mean, it has a different amount of product, but regardless, this, you don't go through this that fast. You use a very tiny bit on your face. So, um, when I'm not wearing makeup, when I refuse to wear makeup, um, I do put this on because it does blur my fine lines and my pores and it, ha it has sun protection. It does have SPF, I think 15, um, 30, SPF 30. So this is really good for your skin if you're not going to wear makeup. This does not do anything except blur your pores. But I still really like it. Under my makeup, you guys, I love how it makes my face look. Looks. If they discontinued this product, I would cry because I would have to go back to paying $30 for this. And that is a huge price difference. So, um, again, there are so many differences between primers. And you really want to pinpoint what you're looking for out of your primer. So, if you're looking for a primer to control your oiliness, this isn't it. If you're looking for a primer to make your makeup last longer, this isn't it. If you're looking for a primer that has sun protection, this isn't it. This is strictly to blur all the fine lines and pores and wrinkles off your face. So if you want the illusion of a smooth canvas before you apply your foundation or after you apply your foundation, it doesn't matter which step how you use it, um, this is a really good product. So although it doesn't have very many claims, it doesn't say I do this, I do this, I do this, it's still a really good product, you guys, and it's $5. Another thing that I want to um, demystify, or clarify for you guys, is a lot of you ask me, okay, do I put this, and then my pore filler, and then my uh, oil control primer, and then da 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 Remember, less is more on your face all the time. Less is more. So if you have a problem with oil, I say, I know people that have oily skin and I know how um, annoying it is for you guys. So I would say just skip this and use an oil control primer or use this, your foundation, everything else, and then spray on a spray at the very end that controls your oil. But, um, I wouldn't suggest like, oh, put this primer on first and this primer, blah, blah, blah. what you could do potentially is you could just apply this in little tiny areas where you have pores and then your primer everywhere else. Um, but I mean, that, that's totally up to you and how many extra steps you want to add to your routine. But again, are pore erasers worth the hype? Absolutely. Pore erasers were actually invented for more mature skin, believe it or not. So for women in their upper 30s, 40s, 50s, um, they invented this technology to kind of blur wrinkles so that you wouldn't have to go through the harsh steps of Botox and fillers and things like that. So it was just going to be like, hey, an extra step in your in your skincare routine that will blur your lines. And it just really caught on. Um, if you don't have problematic skin, they can be used as a makeup primer like I use. And I'm really happy with it. So the next time you guys are at the store, especially a drugstore, read the labels on these products. Because I know we can go to like a Sephora and we can just get carried away. Oh, Oh, that's a makeup primer? Sure, I'll use it. But what do you want out of your makeup primer? Are you looking for a pore eraser like these? Are you looking for a pore filler? Are you looking for an oil controller? Are you looking for a hydrating one? Are you looking for color control? So there are so many reasons why you should get a primer. 
but if you are looking for a primer to control or if you're looking for a primer to blur fine lines or to blur your wrinkles or to blur your pores or to blur whatever on your face are pore erasers worth the hype absolutely so um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little quick and a lot of information, but it's really valuable information. You guys wouldn't under you guys don't understand how many wrong things I did before I learned so much about makeup. There were so many things that I would do wrong. There were so many shades that I would buy wrong. I would do my shadow wrong. I would use the wrong color of foundation. I thought my undertone was the wrong color. I would brush my hair in the shower. Like there's so many things that I would do badly. But now that I know a lot of the details and specifics over things like pore erasers, I really love that I have the opportunity to share this stuff with you guys. So because there was so much hype around my baby skin um, review video, I would really like it if you guys took the time to check the description box below for something very exciting. Um, and I won't let you know any more details. So read that description box below and it may, you may you may find something that interests you. So again, pore blurs and pore erasers are definitely worth the hype. The next time you're at the drugstore or at a Sephora, try and find one. Test one out on the back of your skin. See if you like the texture. But trust me, you will like the way it leaves your skin. And I think that's it, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.